lists are versatile collections of elements ordered and crucial in Elixir programming. Lists are immutable, meaning they can't be modified. So any operation that changes a list actually returns a new list. Lists implement the enumerable protocol, which allows them to use the enum and string module functions. Lists are implemented as linked lists in Elixir, so not as arrays. And a linked list is a sequence of nodes. Representing lists in Elixir is pretty straightforward though. Let's open up our terminal, start the IEX or the Elixir shell with IEX. And all we have to do is put values within square brackets. So if we do one, two, three, closing square bracket, that is a list. A list is composed of a head and a tail. The head is the very first element and the tail is the rest. And you can see this with a built-in function hd and then if we do the same thing one two three bracket it will return it's a function so you have to have it inside of parentheses but so when you do this it will return one which is the head and then for tail it's tl and these are just built-in elixir functions so we have use for them or we get access to them and then if i do one two three again square brackets closing we're going to get two and three back lists can be constructed using the pipe operator to prepend values as well so if we do something like this square bracket we can do one and then the pipe operator and then a list with two and three in it and then close off those square brackets so we hit enter and now we just prepended one to our existing list of two and three you can also concatenate two lists. So we can do something like this, a list with one and two in it. And then the uh, concatenation operation is two plus signs. And then we can do three and four in this list. And then when we hit enter, we have one list. We can also remove elements. And the way we can do that is we can have a list of, let's say one, two, three, and then two again close that off and then if we do minus minus this is the remove and then we want to remove two and hit enter we get one three and two back so this will remove the first instance found lists can also nest within each other so we can have a outer list okay with an inner list of say one and two and then we can have another comma here and have another list of say three and four. So they're nested within each other. And so lists can hold lists. And then lists are often used in Elixir for just storing sequences of items. They're flexible, they can grow, they can shrink as needed. The performance of operations in linked lists like searching for an element typically has uh, a time complexity of order of n, meaning the time it takes to complete an operation increases linearly with the size of the list. So be mindful of this, which makes prepending usually much more efficient than adding to the end of a list. And there you have it, a quick intro to lists and Elixir. Play around with them in the shell to get a feel for how they work, and I will see you in the next video.